one of the greatest moves Buhari can make to liberate Southwest from slavery is to support Ambode Deji Adeyanji. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Our popular Nigerian human rights activist Deji Adeyanji has once again spoken. According to a recent tweet he made on his Twitter handle, Adeyanji Deji stated clearly that one of the greatest political moves President Buhari can make in order to liberate the Southwest region from slavery is to support the former governor of Lagos State, Ambode, to get APC Guba ticket. Hmm. To me, I think. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this advice is BSC get to. Mm, yes, truly. Because I don't think the president should influence. In fact, I don't feel anybody. And I don't think it's the right thing to do. I don't think it's rational that the president or any former governor or any godfather influences the person who is going to emerge as a flag bearer. Is the person not supposed to be based on competency? If people are going to come out and say, oh, competency, competence. Yes, it should be. It should be. Let's find out more about this. The news in detail. Please stay with us. Speaking further, Abiyanji Deji stated it clearly that President Buhari will write his name in gold by doing that in the southwest region. He ended his tweet by making it known that the looting and slavery in Lagos State must stop. One of the greatest political moves, according to Deji Adeyanji's post, reads, one of the greatest political moves Buhari can make to liberate Southwest from bullion, vanism, and slavery is to support Ambade to get a PC Guba ticket. Buhari will write his name in gold by so doing, so especially in the Southwest. The looting and slavery in Lagos must stop. Hashtag Otoge Lagos. That's a good and wonderful one from Ade and Judeji. But I still don't think that Buhari has the right to decide the person who will emerge as the flag bearer of all progressive Congress APC in Lagos State. The citizens should be allowed to decide that. But nevertheless, we have to wait patiently as so as to know what will eventually happen at the end. What is your take on this one? Well, like I said previously, I don't think it's a, it's a very good suggestion. Mm -mm. And for goodness sake, for goodness sake, APC in the person of Jagaban has been clinging on to Lagos State. Like, you know, you don't want somebody to break free. You're holding tightly onto them for a very long time. And me, and I'm an advocate of, uh, hey, yes, if you, if, if you, if you rule, or if you do something, if you are in the hem of affairs, you rule somebody else, you step aside, let somebody else to rule. So that the people can get a feel of, okay, things can be done from this angle, things can also be done from this angle as well. But let me tell you the truth. <laughs> hey, Lagos State has been the, under the clinch of one man. And that man is the national leader of all progressive Congress. Yes, that man is the national leader. So saying Amber Day at the end of it, they still under uh, um, this thing now, and you know what is going on in the political sphere in presidency, the Jagaban of Lagos himself is coming out to to contest, and if at the end of the day we don't know how Nigeria is going, I'm I'm a staunch um uh, I'm a staunch uh, apolitical person, so I will give my vote to who is competent, but I don't know if the rest of the Nigerians will go with me. So at the end of the day, if those who are seriously saying Tenobu should come, Tenobu should come, Jagaban should come at the end of the day, they finally decide and it happens. <laughs> I don't know what will become of anybody in Lagos State. So I still think at the end of the day, to me, it's not, it's not, except they're going to tell me that, oh, after, you know, what is going to be happening in the APC presidency level, that uh, electorals will be allowed, their votes will be allowed to count. And electorals will now genuinely decide. Then, uh, if anybody wants to become the governor, no problem. But for me, I feel it's still under the same, you know, party. But I think things will definitely change. Yes. Okay, clowns like they never stop to ask themselves a simple question. What is anybody antecedent? How did a retired civil servant of no political pedigree came from blues and retirement to clinch the tickets of a ruling party of Lagos State? against the candidate of an immensely popular incumbent fashioner. How is that possible? 
what was Ambodia's achievement at that point in time to recommend, recommend him for that position. Well, are you going to come out and say this? When you say, when you say achievement, I, 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 I don't get it clearly. Is it financial achievement? Because I, I want to believe. Yes, 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 yes. I'm talking about making impact. But making impact does not mean you're sharing money. It, it's not the kind of impact. It means how well has he done in his vision? He was a public servant, right? Or a rather a civil servant. At that time, yes. How did how well did he do? Is that what the person is saying? If that's what the person is saying, then fine. But if he's talking about financial or laudable achievement, that the one that... Uh, you know, they're going to tell him, congratulations, congratulations. Anybody can become anybody. And that is the kind of Nigeria we are looking forward to. Somebody who he merits it. When I say merits it, it's through his, you know, actions and not through the money he has on his pocket or bank account. Okay. People like, people like, <laughs> people are not able to thrive. Yes, politically, he's nobody, but he performed credibly well, as if he knew that will happen. The same system that brought him out him. This culture brings development to just a few people. Exclusive politics is his name. <laughs> Nigerians must wake up and say no to exclusive politics. Nigeria must not be ruled as Paul B. is ruling Cameroon. No to one party ruling Nigeria from 2023. <laughs> when looked at objectively, political following does not equate e exactly that's what that, that's what they're saying somebody that uh, is popular does not mean it's competent ah god bless you god will so bless you for me it means you understand it everything i've been saying this person understand if you like half crowd half people louding up, up your your achievements how people clapping for you and singing your praises and you are not competent uncle you're not fit for the job simple this message should be directed to the governors of Abia and Benue State, where you hardly see dividend of democracy. Despite the looting, Lagos is still ahead of other states. Hmm. Okay, oh, some people are deciding to drag some people out. <laughs> this table is scatter. Will Buhari come from Abuja to influence voters in both primary and, and, and primary election? You are talking rubbish. Hmm. He's stating fact your gun making Lagos dry has to stop. That's one of the many reasons why he will never rule this nation. Look, the thing is, the people are getting it wrong. People are getting it wrong. Uh, it's, 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 it, but they're still talking about the same party to me. At the end of the day, they're still under the same party. And to the national leader, he can still influence some things. That's what me I'm saying. Okay. Okay. If uh, Ambode is the best competent person, sincerely, of course, Lucians, I think Lucians will pick him. But if not, um, uh, it's going to be war.